Good morning and welcome to the Morning Briefing. I'm Julie Bedanes. It's Wednesday, August 5th, 2009, and these are the top stories we're following here on WashingtonTimes.com. Former President Bill Clinton arrived back in the U.S. this morning, bringing with him the two U.S. journalists who'd been imprisoned in North Korea. The two reporters for Current TV were greeted at the airport in Burbank, California, by friends and family and former Vice President Al Gore. They had been detained in North Korea for four months and were granted a pardon following rare talks between former President Clinton and later Kim Jong-il. While the White House said it was pleased by their release, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton warned the talks don't mean any further breakthrough in relations with North Korea on nuclear issues. Mahmoud Ahmadinejad was sworn in for a second four-year term as president of Iran on Wednesday. Outside the ceremony, thousands of security forces with batons and bomb-sniffing dogs tried to disperse protesters outside the parliament who shouted, death to the dictator. Ahmadinejad's opponents for the election, opposition leaders and moderate lawmakers all boycotted the ceremony. A new government report is challenging President Obama's assertion that the climate change bill will create new jobs. In fact, the study conducted by the Energy Department's Energy Information Administration says the legislation passed by the House will mean fewer jobs by 2030 than if Congress did nothing at all. Well, that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com for these stories and your continuous news updates.